So you might be thinking, where be the update? It's been a while, right? What's going on? Well, just rest assured, everything's fine. It's all fine. It's the fact that you have to understand that there is no real team on the game at the moment. So everybody's just kind of doing this at the same time. And the last thing they want to do is release an update that isn't complete and then have everyone be mad at it, right? Last thing anybody wants. So we can wait a little longer, but it's going to come. So unfortunately, it didn't come out in April as we, you know, as I thought originally, but it will be coming out just in time for the game's fourth anniversary. So there's that. At least we got that going on for ourselves. I have high hopes that this update will indeed give us a good idea of like what to expect and kind of things like that. And I'm kind of hopeful for the future of this game, I hope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, if anything, what I expect is going to happen is simply this. I think the game is going to come up in the second week of May just about when the when their other games are going through their updates that's what i think is going to go on i'm not 100 sure but i think that's what they're going to be planning on doing so yeah this is that's a release cycle there so what i think is going to happen is from i was given information and i have seen some things so i know what to expect and what's coming up so allow me to explain Again, I'm not telling you what the update's about, I'm not telling you any themes or anything like that, but what I will tell you is the basic general notions of what to expect as far as uh, items and whatnot go. So, what they've told me is that there will be one new character coming to the game, and one new monster scene, and they actually recently did a teaser on Facebook showing off these characters. And um, I know which is which. I've seen both of them now. But I won't say exactly what's going on with that just yet. Instead, what I am going to do is just kind of showcase. And uh, not really showcase, but kind of just it, just make sure people are not only aware, but also kind of like, oh, okay, it's coming. Don't worry. Because <laughs> it is taking a while. Uh, you, the other reason why this is taking a while is because the person who's doing this is the head director of Pixel itself. Because you know, there's like little like there's like directors for each program, and then there's one head director for the other directors. If that makes sense, so he is unfortunately doing that while other stuff as well. So it's kind of it has his hands full, and not only that, but the last um, content manager who was uh, doing this previously. He's now in another department for another for the other game. You might know what it is, but uh, yeah. So he didn't really leave anything off. So everyone was kind of like, oh, how do you do this? So this was just basically running from scratch. But I think they got everything good now. So it's on its way. They're in the testing phase to make sure everything's working just peachy and fix any things that need to get fixed before releasing it to the public like normal updates do so there's that so i'm expecting this update to be uh, at least three weeks long is what they're expecting and i think during that time they will also look at to see whether or not this game is going to continue or not like if it so long as the event does well which i've seen a lot of people getting hyped that this game's coming back so my hope is that it will i mean i will do my part to make sure that uh say someone like casey loves gaming covers the game so there's more eyeballs for the content because i know not everybody goes on facebook or is aware that the game's back up and running so so long as the game's still kind of active and actually makes a profit you know good enough it chains then it'll be more worthwhile to kind of have a small team moving forward with this project be due to legal complications, as I talked about last year. So, what I think, um, from what I was told, it is one new character, one new scene, three weeks. So I have confirmed that the promedy is coming back, so this whole area here that's been, like, stationary for, like, a year and a half is gonna disappear. So that's good. So we got that going back. 
which is great because, you know, we've, we've kind of missed a promenade at having some fun stuff there. But, um, yeah, you know, so again, this update seems like it's going to be something worthwhile. But like I said before, this is going to be a smaller update. This is going to be, to put it bluntly, like it's again three weeks, but the content that's coming out, it kind of reminds me of some of the smaller updates that happened back in 2019 remember before it you know the, the worser updates but not in that sense of vain but it's more in a sense of like there's gonna be 12 new decorations getting added into the game buildings and whatnot wise and then there is six all altogether there's gonna be six um quests to the main story and i believe there are also some quests for this new character i'm assuming i don't think it's six altogether so I think it's six for the main story. So it's going to be a short one. But again, it'll do its purpose. And it, the whole point is to basically make sure that this game is active enough to kind of warrant it a continuation. Now, if this does continue and successful, I will let you guys know. Because, you know, I am the Goosebumps Horror Town guy. That's that's my thing. So, and like you guys like my watching my content. So it's it's all good for me. But um, the one thing I will say is that if it does continue on, what I think is going to happen is that June will not have an update. It will have probably like some bundles and whatnot, like a takedown update and some bundles to kind of wait until the next update, which will be in July. And in that, when that happens, that will mean that we are most likely going to get the 30th year anniversary. And I think after that, that's when the game's going to continue on from August, September, like what we've seen before. So it's a bit of a wonky start, but if the game succeeds, then we should get a uh, the anniversary update, which is great. And I think the anniversary update is going to be a big update from what they want to do. Well, I'm not sure if it's going to be achievable or if it's going to be planned, but again... I'll be on the talks with them to see what happens. And if they do continue with the program, probably talk to the content manager for this game that gets assigned to it and the small team that they're going to have. And again, moving forward, if this does continue, it is going to be a small team and the game may change slightly. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the chances of them changing the whole crafting events to be more like a battle pass is going to be a thing. I'm not sure how that's going to work with this game because of how unique it is with the scares and scaring your town people. So they might alter that a little bit to fit with this game's, you know, pandemic. But uh, I'm fine. God, I can't say words, but dynamic. That's it. God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> but yeah, with the whole game setting and whatnot to make sure it fits well with the whole context of everything. So that's that there so you get an idea of what's going on so that's about it that's roughly the little skinny dinny of uh everything you need to know so it gives you a good update and as well as just a confirmation that the game is coming it's gonna be a little while but the worth the the wait will be worth it <laughs> let's just say it like that so yes it's been almost half a year since the last update that's hit but you wait a little longer it will be just enough time and i think and i hope you know my hope is that this game does continue on pretty much well just because you know there's there's a lot of people there and, and again the game's gonna go through its well the series is gonna go through its 30th anniversary so that's a big deal so it'd be interesting to celebrate that and then continue on with the game as per usual but we'll have to wait and see again at the end of the day, this is a business. So, it has to work with what they got. But, what I have been informed is one of their games is going to go um, temporarily uh, not active. So, that's going to mean less revenue. So, they're going to have to find other ways. And they might be looking at this game as back. So, we'll see. But, hey, I will let you know when things come up. So, that's it for me. I've been Grim and I'll be seeing you next time. So, till then, goodbye.